Chip here camping with cats. Hello, we are now camping. We, my previous videos have been uh, tent camping. We are now camping in a Class B RV. A 1997 Coach House 192 SD. SD stands, stands for side dinette. It's on a Ford E250 chassis. Is the uh, driver's side. Is the 30 amp connection. Underneath you have your holding tanks. And inside your propane, your city water, a pressure regulator. Those two valves, uh, they're just actually they're cut off. They're non functional. I don't know what they were for to begin with. in your sewer outlet. Here's the view from the back. The bed is, we converted it to a, a king size. It is uh, actually, it is more than six feet from front to back. It is over six feet. Um, now to convert to a dinette, you would. There is a middle panel taked out, and the side dinette is on this side. Here's the view to the front. His lights. Is a 110 volt outlets, storage, get the AC and the fantastic fan, and a couple of closets. And I'll show you. I'll show you the inside in a little bit. Now, in the coach houses of this vintage, the generator is located underneath. It's an Onan 2.8. Let's see if I can get that. It is in a funny place, and here's the uh, generator exhaust coming out there. In a class three, is it a class three receiver hitch? Correct me if I'm wrong. And a, is it a four way? It's a four way connector. No brake control up front though, so we would need a few extra accessories. Hot water heater. Here's your uh, water for uh, for your wa water for boondocking. It's an awning clip. Outside power. Exhaust for your heater. Here's an awning. It, it does work. I'll show it in another video. Have I? Duotherm by Dometic. It's a low-profile air conditioner. 13, I believe it's 13,500 BTUs. Here's Mikey, our van-dwelling cat. He is acclimating well to it. I'll show you his bed in a little bit. Okay, in these coach houses, this is where the awning pole is. And I didn't know that the first time I opened the awning, I didn't even, I opened it with a uh, wrench and I found this later on. Okay, here's a table, actually folds out. And this clip that brings it. Oh, I think I need to, there we go. And then it just snaps in, snaps in right there. Here's the inside. I have a makeshift screen set up here just to keep the bugs out. I have it tucked in. I'll have another little video on a, a little setup. Here's uh, Mikey's baby nest. Mm -hmm. 
Etsy carton goes around microwave storage area another little storage cabinet the range it's a water pump hood light doesn't work it's our fan generator stove two burner stove no cold fridge. I believe it's a it's it's electric only. No. Nope. Some cabinets underneath. Our sink. It's a one ten outlet. Lights. More cabinet storage, paper towel holder. We removed the coffee maker. We did have it when we when we bought the van. We that was in there, but we removed it. The strap. This is neat here. Actually, can fit quite a bit there. It's a pantry. And when you're traveling, just push in this button, and it locks it. Okay. It's cabinet for storage cabinets is okay fantastic fan the AC carbon monoxide detector oops okay toilet the shower the shower curtain is the Water faucet with the faucet handles and the shower hose. Fire extinguisher. Pull it in. You just press this pin actually, see if it functions. If it springs back, it works. There's a, uh, that's the uh, pull pin, safety pin. Okay. Have a nice side. Fantastic fan. Storage. This is a little desk. It's probably meant for like uh, one of the small TVs that they had me in the 90s before the uh, flat screens. It's right here, or perhaps in this drawer. This drawer. This little drawer there is TV with a uh, 12 volt. 12 volt outlet, cable connector, the cable antenna. Okay, new lights. Your overhead light here. This actually runs off the uh, shore power only. The other ones run off 12 volt. And okay, you have some uh, front storage area. Front storage and light smoke detector. And, uh, I guess that's about it. So, so thanks for watching. See you soon.